Hey guys, Scott here from the Mental Metal channel and MentalMetalDetecting.com and today we're doing a quick tip on the Diamond Tester 2. We're going to show you quickly how to use this thing so you know how to test diamonds accurately and quickly. Um, I do quick tip videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays of every week and full length videos on Saturdays and Sundays as much as I can. Um, so tune in on those days for these videos. Um, but today we're going to focus on this Diamond Selector 2 video. I'm going to show you how to test properly test for a diamond. First, got to turn this thing on. Um, you got to wait 30 seconds for this lamp to show up and light up red. And then I have a diamond ring right here. I'm pretty sure it's a diamond ring. We're going to try it out, and I'm going to show you. Um, I found this ring last summer at the beach. It's a very, very nice ring, but we're going to see if it has some diamonds in it. Now, it's very important to use this thing properly you have a tip on the end here now your lamp is on telling you that it is heated up uh, on the back side you have a metal plate you have to hold this device with your fingers on the metal on the back and you have to hold the ring with your bare fingers and create some sort of circuit um, you have to calibrate this thing too based on the size of diamonds there's actually a chart on the back you can uh, check out the chart here but based on the, the size of the diamond, you're gonna to wanna to set this thing, calibrate up to these numbers. I'm finding that for the size of diamonds that this this little ring has, I'm gonna set, and you just roll this up to um, about four and a half to five, and then that's calibrated enough. And then you hold it properly with your two fingers on the back, and you don't come in at an angle. On the, on the diamond you're testing, you come straight in at 90 degrees, all right? So you want to put your tip right on there. Oops, I hit the metal. Try it again here. If you hear those three beeps, that means you've got a real diamond on your hands, folks. So that is your quick tip today on how to use the Diamond Selector 2, making sure you come in at a straight 90 degree angle coming down on top of the diamond to test it, making sure you put your fingers on the back of this to hold it properly, and making sure you're actually holding the diamond itself, checking the chart to calibrate it properly with the number corresponding to the scale right here on the front. All right, that's your quick tip today on using a diamond tester. Thanks for watching. These quips, quick tips, again, are on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Full-length videos are on Saturdays and Sundays. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in another Mental Mental video.